Hello everybody, today we are talking about behind the scenes photos and videos, why people are so interested in them, and what you can do to draw people in. I'm Bob Mikowski, professional photographer and visual marketing speaker, and today we are talking about three reasons that draw people in to see your behind the scenes content, your behind the scenes photos and videos. So let's get started. Reason number one is curiosity. They are curious about what happens behind the scenes in your business. They want to know what goes into doing what it is that you do, whether that's a, a restaurant or an event company or something along those lines. They are curious what goes into doing that. That's why people watch half of the reality TV shows that they do on TV. You know, you look at a, a classic like Dirty Jobs. You're going behind the scenes of a job to see what it is that they're doing. And you also think about different TV shows and movies that have behind the scenes little mini documentaries and clips and things like that. That's why people do them. Now, how do you draw them in to your behind the scenes content? Well, you simply post interesting content. I know that concept isn't exactly mind blowing, but yes, you have to post something interesting to draw them in. If you're going to post behind the scenes content that is simply, I am working on my computer today. That's not that interesting. Show them something visually. Number two is to see your personality. Who are you? Both you as a person and you as a company. You want to build a rapport with potential clients before you even meet them. You know the, the saying about know, like, and trust. You want them to get to know you and like you before they can meet you and you can earn their trust they'll begin to feel like they know you and you're not just some nameless, faceless company. If they can put faces to you and to your employees, they're a lot more likely to do business with you. Now, how do you draw them in with your personality? Don't be afraid to be unpolished. That is That can be kind of difficult for some people who want to to present a, a very specific facade, but you do want to put yourself out there, not just the polish, polished version. You, uh, I, I don't know that I would go on cursing and, and, <laughs> and berating people. If that's your behind the scenes, then maybe cut back on that. But don't be afraid to be unpolished and show them who you are. And number three is education. People love to learn, especially for social media. You want to keep these short, not a, a full 22 step how to, but just a, a quick tip, something like, here's how I do this, da, 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 and done. That's it. Keep it nice and short and simple. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, share, like, comment, all those fun things. All right, see you on the next visual marketing video.